feeling of standing on the podium and having that team gold medal put around your neck, there's no other feeling like it and it's yeah incredible and with all of our teammates we get on so so well, it's fantastic. Great Britain's Natasha Baker is one of the world's premier para dressage riders, having won five Paralympic gold medals, an individual silver and team gold at the World Equestrian Games in 2014. Para dressage is dressage but for people with an impairment or a disability. Uh, there's five grades. Grade one is the most disabled and then up to grade five which is the least disabled. So I'm a grade three. I'm right in the middle. When Natasha was 14 months old, she contracted transverse myelitis, a virus which causes permanent nerve damage and severe weakening of the legs. Every competition that I go to, I'm humbled by everybody that is competing there. I go to a Paralympic Games and I'm just in awe seeing everybody and to see what they've come through and, and hear how they got there. And I think the para riders have to have a great mental attitude and you can't think, why me? You know, you've got to embrace what you've got and just because we've got a disability, that doesn't mean that we can't achieve things, that doesn't mean that we can't do this or that. Natasha suffered a tragic loss in 2017 when her Paralympic horse, JP, had to be put down after a small wound became infected. Despite the setback, Natasha turned her equine knowledge to another job, commentating for FEI TV at the European Championships in Gothenburg last August. It felt very strange not packing my white britches. Um, it's great to be here though, you know, unfortunately I couldn't compete here this year. I didn't have the horsepower this year. Hopefully I'll be back for WEG next year. But, um, but yeah, it's great to see all of my friends and hopefully I can cheer them on over the mic. Natasha has been doing just that since Gothenburg and remains one of the key voices on TV. But throughout the year, her quest to find the perfect equine partner never wavered and she finally found the one in early January. The first time I sat on Diva, I knew that she was special. Um, and I think it's like meeting somebody that you automatically click with. It's the same with horses um, and I knew that we would achieve amazing things together just from that first ride and she was you know used to competing at able-bodied level and, and and then I just jumped on her out of the blue and asked her to perform and I just feel like every ride with her she just gets better and better. As their relationship developed, Natasha became focused on realising her main goal for 2018, competing at the FEI World Equestrian Games in Tryon for Team GB. The opportunity to compete at WEG is a great deal, you know, to have the opportunity to compete and be the best in the world. It's incredible and, uh, and to represent your country uh, with your best friend, the horse, uh, it's the best feeling. I had enormous pressure going into the first World Equestrian Games because at that time I was Paralympic and European champion. Unfortunately, um, JP, the horse that I was riding at the time, he had a few spooks in the arena, which cost me the gold medal. But to come home with the silver was just awesome and I was so, so proud of him and hopefully I can go one better this time. To secure her place in Tryon, Natasha had to impress a judging panel at a selection event in July. We have had a bit of a up and down month and she has been trying to get an embryo to have some foals for next year. So, uh, so this month's training has been a little bit more erratic because I haven't been able to do quite so much with her. Um, but we've been really focusing on our transitions. They, they were pretty good today. Um, she's, she's gone better, but I'm really pleased for the start of this competition. Hartbury was a huge success for Natasha, and she was selected alongside Salee Pearson, Sophie Wells and Erin Orford to represent Team GB in Tryon. I was so incredibly proud of everything that Diva and I had achieved. Obviously, we've had great results this year, but 
If somebody had have told me in January that I'd be going to the World Games this year, I would have laughed because I didn't have a horse and I wasn't feeling prepared. Obviously, it's still really, really early days. So I'm just looking to build our partnership out there. The results for me are kind of going to be like the cherry on top. Um, we're just going to go and aim to do the best tests that we can do on the day. Two months later, both Natasha and Diva had made it safely across the pond and were looking forward to the competition. Natasha's opening test in the Grade 3 resulted in an impressive silver medal and in the team championship they performed a personal best to take silver again. It was definitely in the team a, a silver medal won rather than a gold medal lost. You know, we've got me on a new horse, uh, the same with Lee as well, it's her, his horse's first championship year. Uh, and then we've got Erin who's never done a world championships before. And then obviously Sophie Wells, yeah, it was her first WEG with George. So, you know, we were a pretty new team together and although we had three riders with experience, we had run, one rider without experience and four horses without experience and we only lost out on that gold medal by half a percentage. And the Dutch were on the top of their game. They pulled out four amazing tasks. So we feel so, so proud of every single one of us for achieving everything we did. So yeah, it was, it was an amazing accomplishment to get that silver medal. Unfortunately for Natasha and Diva, their WEG journey ended with an elimination in the freestyle. I think the learning that I'll take away from this is I need to get more exposure in big atmospheres. Um, she's dealt with the last two days, like the team test day, she did one of the best tests I've ever done on her and she felt incredible and there was an atmosphere in there, you know, more so than the first day and she dealt with it absolutely fine. So I know she can handle it, I think it was just a succession of things that happened today that led to that point. I would love to go to Tokyo and come home with three gold medals. That is definitely the dream. And to go out next year and to get our team gold.